In this video, we'll be doing another example with LU decomposition. So let's look at our problem. The problem says that the L and U matrices are given for the system of equations below. All right, if you look at the system of equations, you'll notice this is the same exact system of equations in the previous example. And we have the L and U matrices right here. Okay, and then the problem then says solve these two other system of equations with LU decomposition. So when you're looking at all these, something should hit you and click right away. You should see that the left hand side of all these system of equations are identical. So what does that mean? That means we have the same A matrix, which also means we all uh, we will have the same L matrix and the same U matrix. Oh wait, they give us both of those, which is pretty cool. So that saves us a lot of trouble when solving these two new system of equations. But let's look. What is different with these two system of equations they want us to solve for? Oh, the right-hand side. That means we'll have new B vectors. And if B is different, that means we'll also have new D and X vectors. Okay, so we will, you should be seeing right now that LU decomposition actually does have a unique application. So if we're only changing the right-hand side of a system of equations, we can bypass solving for L and U because you only have to do that one single time. And now that the only part of this system of equation that is changing is the B vector, then we only have to perform the last two steps to solve for D and then solve for X, which I think is pretty cool. So at this point, I hope you have at least some slight appreciation for numerical methods. And we'll get started right away. So A, I wrote out the system of equations here. And as I said, the only thing that is changing is the B vector. So we have that as 783. And we can begin to fill in the appropriate values for L, D, and B. We get 1, 0, 2, 1, P1, P2 equals the B vector above, 7, 83. Okay. And then multiplying this out, we have D1 equals 7, 2D1 plus D2 is equal to 83. So we have right away D1 is equal to 7. Plugging that in, we get 14 plus D2 is equal to 83, or D2 is equal to 69. Okay, not too bad. And then we can write our D vector all together with D1 and D2, 7 and 69. So now we'll use that to solve for X. Let's write that out. U, X equals D. And we can fill in these values. The upper matrix is 4, 7, 0, negative 23, x is what we want to solve for, x and y, and the d vector is what we just solved for, 7, 69. Okay, now multiplying this out, we get 4x plus 7y is equal to 7, and then negative 23y is equal to 69. Okay. Right away, you can see what the value for y is. That's just negative 3. Plugging that back into the uh, equation above, we get 4x 
minus 21 is equal to 7, or 4x is equal to 28, and x is equal to 7. So we have found our first solution vector for part A, x is equal to 7, negative 3. And I'll leave that for you to verify. Okay, so let's move on to part B. So once again, the only thing that is changing here is the B vector, which in this case equals negative 38, negative 30. And then we can fill that in below with the appropriate values. Um, LD equals B. Okay. So this will be the same with the only thing that's changing is the B vector which will change our D vector here which we'll see right now. So multiplying it out, we get d1 is equal to negative 38, and then 2d1 plus d2 is equal to negative 30. So right away, we can get, we see our d1 value is negative 38. We can plug that in here and get negative 76 plus d2 is equal to negative 30. Solving for d2, we get 46. So then we have our d vector is the uh, two terms, d1, d2, which is negative 38 and 46. Check. And the final step is to solve for our x solution vector, which we can do with this relationship, u times x is equal to b. Okay, the upper matrix once again is 4, 7, 0, negative 23, x and y, and d1, and d2, which we just solved for, negative 38 and 46. So yes, let's multiply this out. And we'll get 4x plus 7y is equal to negative 38. And then negative 23y is equal to 46. Okay, so uh, y, you can get right away, it's just uh, negative 2. Plugging that back into the other equation, we get 4x minus 14 is equal to negative 38, or 4x is equal to negative 24, allowing us to solve for x as negative 6, giving us our solution vector, which is the combined terms x and y, negative 6, negative 2. Okay, so we just saw how uh, helpful LU decomposition can be when we're only changing the right-hand side of a system of equations, only changing the B vector. All right, I hope this was helpful, and please uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel, um, and if uh, you have any other video recommendations, please let me know. All right, thanks for watching as always.